Hi everyone, welcome to another repairing lesson. We are going to learn something in this video which is very important. In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot, how to short, and how to inject voltage on a mobile PCB. So we have a short here. You can see we have LC, LCD VSP, LCD VSN. So we are going to go use our multimeter to display everything so that you will see clearly. So make sure you watch to the end so that you will understand what's happening right here. So we are going to test that's the VSN line. I'm going to explain what these lines are that they function. You can see there is no reading there, and this one you can see a reading of 199 ohms. So the VSP is a 5 volt positive of the graphics. It's the graphic power supply. So we have a diode. I think that's a diode that is connected connected in parallel. So I thought that should be the first thing that will cause the low reading. So that specific point that I tested with 199 ohm reading was supposed to have very high reading because it deals with 5 volt. So that reading is very low. After removing it, it goes to 203. That's still very low. As you can see, 203, right? So how do you troubleshoot this type of fault? Because of that fault, the phone can actually turn on because it's in the, the graphic section. That's the graphic power supply, but nothing will show on the screen, you get. So what we do, we locate the, the IC that is generating that voltage, the section, because we are troubleshooting, you need to have access to see the components as possible as you can. So we locate the IC, those are two lines are going to the IC and going to the VSN and the VSP. And here we have the IC, the IC is being integrated with the charging IC, right? And the more you know about this section, the easier it will be for you to troubleshoot. Take a look at my book, you will see this circuit. This is the circuit that we are working on. If you take a look, you will see how the display IC, which is integrated into the charging IC in this video. So, what I want us to take a look at this is my block diagram master book. You can see you can purchase the soft copy or the hard copy if you're in my country, Cameroon. You can get the soft copy with a discount right now. So, these are the two lines that we are working on. So, we are working on the VSP. You can see the 5 volt positive and the 5 volt negative. You can see the information about these lines here, like everything you can see the information about every single circuit in this book, right? So I just wanted to show you so that you can confirm that we are getting the 5 volt positive and 5 volt negative in those two lines. As you can see those two capacitors here, you will see what we can do about it. So after following the line it gets to the charging IC, there is a high possibility that the charging IC is damaged or one of these capacitors right here. And the only thing for us to do is to inject voltage the right way. So I send my voltage to 5.5 to 4 .5 because like I said, that line deals with a high voltage, which is 5 point, at least 5.4 you get. So I set it to 4.5 and you can see that's that current row shows that the line is not okay. There was supposed to be no current row right here you get so it shows that there is a short somewhere as you can see also the ice did not heat up which means that yeah we have to to turn uh, the other side of the pcb because i was getting heat in a particular section here so if you take a look you will see these capacitors are not looking that great so we inject voltage right there in the vsp line because that's the only line with the short and then we inject the voltage there while monitoring this capacitor. As you can see, boom, we have this guy right here. It's in up. You get. So what we do, yeah, we just remove it just like that and very smooth and pop that up. Then see, test again, then see how everything goes. Why well, you can get my courses right now with a 50% discount, just three days left. It's to expire, you get the discount will expire on the 2nd of August. So, maybe if you see this video later, the discount might be done for already. So, yeah, let's test and see. Yeah, that's the core reading, it's fluctuating because the PCB is still hot, so that's why it's not being a stable reading. It should be at least, be at least 400. Okay. And that's how everything goes. Same in the session was that using the number if you want my courses, okay. The course from the link in the description. So 